Okay, hey guys, just wanted to pop in here and talk to you about plane chasing fibble tip and uh, what this event is all about and why you should pay attention to it, but maybe put it on the back burner for now. So, fibble tip has access to exclusive cards that you can pay for with crystals. So, you unlock a planeswalker called Fibblethip, which I do not own, <laughs> but uh, he's not worth owning. But what he does is he has other cards that you can only get through Fibblethip, and they're full art versions of cards that you can otherwise get um, from packs. So every time he comes in the vault, there's different cards that are available to you. And so right now this is what's in the um, packs. And so what you do, I'll show you, Tanadir Quandrix is one that you will want later on in the game. And Omnath is okay, but I would say out of everything he has right now available to him, um, Tanadir Quandrix is the one that you would want. So the cards that are good are pretty expensive you want to spend your crystals on the mythic cards but you have to be selective about them and you're not going to want every one of the cards but the way it works is we'll go back to our events so these are the prizes you get for um getting all the points so it's a pve event technically so these are the things you need to do. If you meet the requirements on the objectives, you will unlock cards. So right now, um, summoning four creatures and winning within 10 rounds should be easy for our guy, Ajani. <laughs> As always. Let's see, I got him at level 60 now. <laughs> so he's maxed out, which gives me everything that is available to me for him as a planeswalker. Summoning four creatures will not be difficult because you get two off the bat, so we're already halfway there. <laughs> so by the end of this turn, I'll already have um, fulfilled that objective. So. See? And then we just have to win within 10 rounds. And usually the battles aren't that difficult, especially if you're going in with a Planeswalker at level 60, but he can be annoying when he starts to bounce your creatures. He can just kind of sneak up on you and overrun you. If, especially if he keeps bouncing your creatures. He has a, a masterpiece in his deck called uh, Ball Lightning, which can really wreck you as well. So he just used his ability on me, which return target creature you control to your hand, it gains four mana. Um, okay, so he is actually accidentally found. Shuffle target creature back into owner's library, then that creature's owner fetches a first creature from that player's library to their hand. Its power and toughness becomes 2-2. Two, two. So I get a couple of creatures with double strike on them, then I can hopefully finish this battle quickly.
Okay. Let's see if I won. Oh, shoo. Luckily, at 10 rounds. So that means that card is unlocked in the vault. And if the cards don't show up, I can just give it a little bit, a bit of time or swipe up or uh, swipe down, I mean, to see the creatures when you're in this little tab. So unfortunately, I wish that they, when you click the button or when you pressed on the card picture, it would give you a description of the card. But in order to see what the card actually does, go into your card inventory, go to artwork, um, hit the one that has the, the full art icon, show all cards, and then go down to whatever um, set that the card is from, and Henrika Domnathi. So to see what the card does, you got to click on the little flip, or uh, you, you just click on the um, picture there. So when this creature enters a battlefield, you may draw a card. If you do lose three life, then increase the card's level by one. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may destroy target creature you control. If you do destroy a random opposing creature, then increase this card's level by one. Beginning of your turn, if this card's level is three or more, you may transform this card. And so the transform, you hit that little icon on the middle left there. And then... So this is what happens when you meet the objectives to transform it. And at the beginning of combat on your turn, creatures you control with flying, death, touch, or lifelink get plus two, plus zero until the end of turn. So um, probably not very useful for most things, but it might help with the objectives of like sacrificing your own creatures, but not worth really grabbing for... Uh, new player like yourself if you're watching so so you have five charges on the nodes to fulfill those objectives if you want to unlock the um, cards that are with fibbles up there so we already did that but we want to keep playing to get um, all the rewards we get. So this is an easy way to, to get runes and you get five jewels. And since we are in bronze tier, jewels are pretty hard to come by. So don't worry about trying to get a lot of jewels right now. It's more for platinum players, I would say. Well, we got a booster pack just for winning that battle. So let's see what we get from Midnight Hunt. Classic Naturalist is a decent card. That one's okay. Already got that one. And then I already got the rest of these. Oh yeah, and one thing, when you open up a pack, if you get a duplicate in the first card of the pack, that means the rest of the cards will be duplicates. And that's kind of how it works. If you get um, a new card, and then the next one is duplicate, then the rest are going to be duplicates, and so on. So I got two new cards in that one, and then the third one's a duplicate, so the other two were going to be duplicates as well. Um, not super important, but kind of just something that you may uh, pay attention to. So cool. Hope that explains Fibblethip okay. And uh, yeah, just a little side quest for you guys to do. All right.